Ladies and gentlemen, ladies, we've got the 4.5 new banner event wish thing and I have to talk about it whether it's good or not. Let's see if it's worth. Genshin has now finally put on their live stream 4.51 a new wish banner and we've been wanting this for a while now but the way they're going about it is not exactly, you know, good. I'll let you know why. First things first, this is a banner wish in which you have to use your intertwined fates now as we know intertwined fates are only and you can only get them through you know events or rewards or you have to spend your primary gems on them now why this isn't the greatest thing of all times because this should have been a banner with a quaint fate this is a banner where you have old characters that haven't been seen in a long time old weapons that they haven't seen and this is where they all come into like a wish banner. This is where the acquaint fates are supposed to go as well, not intertwined fates, which is a little frustrating, but um, definitely a it's it's something to go on. And I don't want to put that down, but also this is not the way to go about it. You definitely want it to be acquaint fates here. Second thing on my thoughts on this banner is this is probably an interchangeable banner so if a character like i don't know klee gets a rerun he will be off the banner and someone else will take her place that is what i'm assuming um if that's the case then that's pretty good but characters like all the five star characters in the standard banner have not gotten banners in a really long time um the only character that has been getting a banner is coaching uh dia as well as tenari right those are the only three that have gotten banners. I haven't seen a Diluc, Homona banner, Gene banner, right? Um, so the fact of the matter is you'll always get those characters in this five star character thing, which sucks. Yeah. Okay. Now, I don't know about the whole 50 50 situation with this one because they did say you have to get a guarantee after one fate. So you get a five star character and you lost the 50 50 that is one fate and now that you've got you know you charted your course for this character you got that fate now it's guaranteed and that's the thing with this banner there's not only characters but there are weapons as well this is where it gets kind of good right you don't have to get three whole you know two whole fates and then the third one's guaranteed no with this one you get um the guaranteed on the second one which is massive for weapons this is really good However, it's still, you know, weapons you still have to use. I don't know how many fates for this one. I don't know if it's 90. I don't know if it's 80. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm assuming it is 90 though. Now, weapons like the Hunter's Path, massive. Uh, claymores that you won't be able to get previously uh, because they've been in those like banners, right? The Diaz weapon, you can only get in this one probably. So that is pretty nice. Um, also other weapons like with Greystone, Song of Broken Pines, if Eula is on this banner, which on the live stream they did show it to be so, so that's pretty nice. So yeah, the whole situation with it being 50-50 sucks. You want it to be a guaranteed no matter what. That's what would make this banner pretty good. Um, but since it's not, it's going to be a little bit of a weird situation where you probably don't even want to summon in this banner at all. Uh, the only way I would see this banner be useful is for the weapons and the weapons themselves. The other way is if you want to fully max out an old character, go all the way C6, this would be the way to do so. However, other than that, it, it's, not, it's not really good. It's not really a good banner. I don't think it's a good banner.